Fruity, 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 fruity. Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Fruity Fruits, where I taste fruits that are fruity. Today, I'm going to be tasting this little ball of orange red spikiness. And this is called a gak fruit. This fruit hails from Southeast Asia, and in Vietnamese, it's called kwa guk. And guk means fruit, and it's spelled G A C, so in English, we would call that gak. So, this is the gak fruit. Fruit. So I purchased this from Miami Fruits. It was not inexpensive. The fruit itself cost about $32 and in shipping it cost another $23. So in total this fruit was $55. I cramba! Quite expensive, but I thought it was so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. I can't wait to see what's inside it and what it tastes like. This is the Gak fruit. So its scientific name is Mamortica cochinchinensis, and it grows on a vine. It's also known as red melon and baby jackfruit. So if you've missed my other fruity fruits taste test, be sure to check out the playlist. The most recent fruit that I tasted was the noni fruit, which I'm currently fermenting into noni juice. That was quite interesting because it had a very kind of putrid smell to it. So be sure to check that out. Okay, let's go ahead and cut our cochinchinensis gourd. So I ordered this and it arrived in two days. I have to say, it doesn't look like a prime example. It's a bit dented and a little bit dried. I hope this is a good example inside. So that's one of the things I've learned from doing these fruity fruit taste tests is that because these fruits are foreign to me, I don't really know what a prime example is supposed to look like. Although instinctively you kind of know, you're like, well, this is a bit dented. It looks a little bit dry. If you haven't seen the mango scene taste test episode, there is a good example of a fruit that was not in its prime. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case here. All right, I'm gonna grab my knife and I'm gonna hone it because this skin looks a bit leathery. So I want to make sure I can get through it. Part of me doesn't want to cut it because it's just so stinking beautiful. Isn't nature amazing? Here we go. Ooh, it's actually not that hard to cut at all. So like many other red and orange colored fruits and vegetables, the gak fruit is very high in beta carotene and lycopene. Great, good antioxidants. Okay, let's, I'm going to cut all the way around. Oh. I think, oh, I'm hitting some seeds here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be incredible. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> wow, just look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Look at that. It looks so alien. Wow. It just smells like a melon. It actually smells like a pumpkin. Wowzers. Okay, okay, let me show you. That. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Wow, so beautiful. But, alrighty, so guk or gak fruit has to be one of the most striking fruits I have ever seen. It is absolutely incredibly beautiful. The intensity of the red is absolutely phenomenal. It looks like tomato skins in terms of the red intensity or tomato paste. It is so red. So that must be the lycopene, which is the red substance in tomatoes as well. So super healthy for you. So from my understanding, this little exterior part that holds all of these seeds is not edible. What is edible is the kind of membrane that coats each seed, which is the bright red portions. Itadakimasu. Wow, it has a very odd texture. Very slimy and mushy. Mm -hmm. And soft, not like sticky or stringy, but just very, very soft. Mm -hmm. It actually doesn't taste like much. It just feels very odd on your tongue. Very, very soft. Kind of like a, kind of like an avocado. Mm -hmm. The flavor is very, very subtle. It actually doesn't have much flavor to it at all. Slightly nutty, just a tiny bit of sweetness. It tastes a little cucumbery, just a little bit. But 
its texture is what's really odd. It just kind of coats your entire tongue with this kind of mushiness. I was expecting it to be slimy or, or more membranous. Actually, in my previous episode of Fruity Fruits, when I tasted the pawpaw, the seeds were coated with a membrane as well. I was expecting it to have more of that texture, kind of like an actual sack. This does not feel like that at all. It's just kind of this mush that surrounds the seed. And here's the seed. Wow, look at that. The seed actually has some spikes around it. How interesting. I've never seen a seed like that before. Look, it actually has little triangular bits around it, which kind of echoes the shape of the actual fruit. That is fascinating. Oh my gosh. I was expecting it to be tangy for some reason. I think it just shows my association with this particular color, orange, red, I think juicy, succulent, fruity, and tangy, but it's not tangy at all. So before I cut into this, I did express a bit of concern that this would not be a prime example of a guck fruit, but it seems to be great. It doesn't seem to be bad at all. Everything looks to be ripe and ready. So yeah, just because it's a little bit wrinkly doesn't mean the fruit is bad. This is great. That red is so intense, it looks like it's artificially colored, but it's not. It came from the plant like this. All right, let's taste another one. <laughs> It does have a little bit of a molasses flavor to it, kind of a toasted sugary flavor, but it's not very sweet at all. Mm -mm. But it tastes like molasses, just a little bit. And a little bit of cucumbery, melony flavor, just a touch. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like it. I think what's the most odd about it is the texture. But the flavor is quite benign, very, very mild. So the guck fruit, the gak fruit, has got to be one of the most striking fruits I've ever seen. Absolutely incredible. The color is very intense, gorgeous, but the flavor is very benign, very kind of plain. Surprisingly, with all this kind of glamour, it doesn't taste like that much. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Fruity, 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 fruity. Heh, 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 ha!